Hey lovely yogis, welcome back to my channel. If you are one of those fabulous people who is here all the time, leaving comments, I see you and I appreciate you. And if you are new here, then welcome. Thank you for coming to join me for this practice. This is going to be a little short and sweet feel good flow. So it's going to be super fluid, feeling into our breath, feeling into our bodies. Obviously this applies with every single practice with me, but especially so today, do what feels good for you. Take this practice where you want to go. Add things on, take things out, make things up. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please, please take a moment to hit that subscribe button. You can like this video if you enjoy it and feel free to comment with any video requests for the future. Without further ado, we will begin here in a tabletop position. So spreading through the fingers, stacking shoulders over elbows, over wrists, hips over knees, micro bending the elbows so we're not locking them out, gazing down between the fingertips and drawing the belly up towards the spine. So engaging through the core. We're not rounding through the spine, but we're not collapsing down into the belly either. Finding that middle ground sweet spot. Start to notice your breathing here in your tabletop, filling the belly up with air as you inhale and contracting the core, pushing out every last drop of air as you exhale. Deep breath in, fill the belly deep breath out, empty the belly. Inhale, fill the belly, fill the ribs, fill the chest. Exhale, empty belly, ribs, chest. Can you send the breath into the entire torso from top to bottom, front to right, front to right, front to back, Left to right is what I meant to say. <laughs> Shall I try that again? Top to bottom, front to back, left to right. There we go, got it that time. Take two more deep breaths here in stillness. You might be feeling your core engage, your arms might be feeling it. So it looks like a simple pose, but there's definitely more to it than you might think. And as you're ready, begin to move. So you might take the traditional cat cow. You might start to wiggle into the hips. You might take big circles with the spine, dropping it all the way down pushing it from one side to the other, taking whatever feels good in your body today. Whatever you do, make it fluid so you can't tell where one move ends and where another begins. They all just flow seamlessly from one into the next. You do not have to be doing what I am doing. You might look totally different from me. That is absolutely fine. In fact, I very much encourage it. You might lengthen your stance, walking the hands forward, press it back to a child's pose, snake it through to an up dog. Rounding back, snaking forwards, or you might stay with whatever you were doing before. Maybe come down for a melting heart pose and wiggle the hips and the chest as you do so. Find the freedom here. And you might find it hard to 
listen to your body and to make things up and not follow instructions. That is absolutely okay and normal. But the more you do it, the more you'll get used to it and the more you will start to fall in love with this free movement. As you are ready, we'll all meet back in a neutral tabletop position, finding that alignment, stacking through the joints, and then lift the right knee to hover off the mat. Start to take some big circles with that right knee, like you've got a paintbrush stuck on your knee and you're trying to paint a big circle in the air next to you. Change the direction of the circles Whichever way you are going, switch it up. On your next breath in, extend that right leg out behind. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend. Exhale, round everything in. One more time, kick that leg behind you. Draw the knee into the nose and then step that foot through in between the hands. Low lunge. Back toes can be flat on the floor or tucked under and make sure the right knee is stacking over the right ankle. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, bring the right hand to the right hip. Take a side bend over to the left hand side. And then let that left hand carry on traveling to the outside of the right knee. Maybe bring the right hand to that left calf, taking a twist over to the right maybe taking a little baby back bend. Inhale, unravel, sweep the arms up. Exhale, frame that front foot, kick that right leg out behind you and listen carefully here. Pivot the left knee so the left foot is pointing out to the left. Lift the right hand off the mat, drop that right foot behind. So we're in a kind of wild thing, but with the left knee on the mat. Left toes kicking off to the left hand side. Right arm sweeping towards the front of the mat. Really, really send that breath into the right lung, into the chest, the belly. And then bring that right hand back to the mat, kick the right foot all the way up to the sky, lift the chest, lift the gaze, and then draw the right knee to the right elbow before stepping the right foot to the outside of the right hand. Back knee is still on the mat for lizard pose. You can stay here with the hands on the mat, or you can come down onto the forearms. You can roll onto the outer edge of the right foot and just wiggle around, feeling into the hips here. You can take the quad stretch if that's calling for you, reaching the right hand around for the left foot. If you've got the quad stretch, release. If you're down on the forearms, come back onto the hands, root down through the right foot, lift the left knee off the mat, and then step the left foot to the outside of the left hand, bring the hands to heart center, malasana. And once again, find some fluidity, wiggling from side to side, maybe lifting up one heel at a time. Inhale, sweep the left arm down, open the right arm up to the sky. Exhale, come back through center. Inhale, open up to the other side. Exhale, back through center. One more time on each side, open to the left, bring it back and open up to the right, bring it back. Take another little wiggle and then lift the hips up to the sky. Walk the feet in so they're hip width apart, toes are pointing forwards and take a moment to wiggle around in your Uttanasana. Bending and straightening one leg at a time. Maybe come into ragdoll, bringing opposite hand to opposite elbow. As you're ready, bring the hands back down onto the earth and drop one knee and then the other back into your tabletop.
Inhale, lift the left knee off the mat. Start to take those big circles with that left knee. Switch the direction of the circles. And then inhale, kick that leg out behind. Exhale, round. Inhale, extend. Exhale, tap it in. One more time, deep breath, kick that foot behind and then breathe out, step that foot through into your low lunge, taking a moment to find your alignment. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, left hand to left hip, side bend over to the left, then bring right hand to the outside of the left knee, left hand to the back of the right leg, take the twist, maybe with a little bit of a back bend here. Unravel, inhale, reach the arms up, exhale, frame the foot, kick that left foot up to the sky, open the chest, and then pivot the right foot out as you drop the left foot down into a modified wild thing. Left arm reaching forwards, left leg extending, finding one long line from the left toes to the left fingertips. And then drop left foot back down, kick that leg high once again, and then draw that knee to the elbow before stepping the foot to the outside of the hand. And then take a few moments to feel into your lizard pose. Noticing maybe if this side feels different from the other side. And taking whatever options you need, whatever feels good. Feeling into the body, feeling into the breath. And wherever you are, bring both hands to root down to the earth. Step the right foot to the outside of the right hand and land in your malasana. Once again, inhale, sweep, right arm up, left arm down, exhale, center. Inhale, open. Exhale, center. Last time on each side. Open to the left. Bring the hands to the heart. Open to the right as you breathe in. And breathe out back through center. Straighten those legs. Take a moment, wiggling in your forward fold. And this time, root down through the hands. Step the feet all the way to the back of the mat. Take a moment in your plank. And then send the hips up to the sky. Downward facing dog. Maybe you wiggle the hips from side to side. Maybe you bend and straighten one leg at a time. Maybe you feel into the shoulders here, taking it down to dolphin, then back up to dog. Maybe rock all the way forward to plank and then snake it back to downward dog. Maybe snake it forwards into up dog and then round it back to downward dog. Or maybe you just find stillness today. Maybe that is what is calling to you. On your next breath in, sweep the right leg high and then bend the knee. Start to take those circles just like we did in our tabletop. Switch direction of the circles. Inhale, extend that leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to nose. One more time. Reach those toes high. Reach them through. Step that foot. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Crescent lunge. Take a moment. Settle into your crescent lunge. Reaching the fingertips high as you breathe in and then breathing out, cactus. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, right hand to right hip. 
take the side bend and then let that left hand carry on traveling to the outside of the right knee bring the right hand to the back of the left leg taking the twist inhale sweep the arms all the way up to the sky exhale frame the foot this time kick that right leg all the way up to the sky and then open up into full wild thing dropping the right toes off the mat lifting the right hand up to the front maybe bring the right hand into a fist and start to take circles on the wrist and then bring that right hand back down kick that leg all the way back up to a three-legged dog and then step the right foot to the outside of the right hand keeping that back knee lifted inhale sweep the right arm up to the sky exhale twist it round into revolved skandasana so dropping the left hip down sweeping the right arm to the back of the room and coming onto the outer edge of both feet inhale lift the hips lift the arm exhale drop the hips cactus the arm inhale lift exhale cactus one more time inhale lift up exhale cactus and this time inhale twizzle yourself all the way around into goddess facing the left side of the mat so if you got a bit confused there we're facing the left side of the mat toes are pointing out at an angle knees are bent inhale straighten the legs sweep the arms up exhale sink it back down inhale lift exhale sink one more time inhale sweep the arms up exhale slice them through heart center and then bring the hands onto the knees dip the right shoulder in push the right knee away come back through center dip the left shoulder in push the knee away come back through center one more time on each side dipping in dipping out dipping in dipping out come back through center inhale straighten the legs bring the toes in turn the heels out pressing into the outer edges of the feet inhale sweep the arms up exhale hinging down into a forward fold prasarita padottanasana Maybe bend into one knee at a time here, wiggling from side to side. Maybe shimmy the hips, maybe wiggle the torso. Deep breaths. On your next inhale, come up to a flat back and then turn the right toes to face the front of the mat, bend into the right knee, side lunge, skandasana. Hands can be pressing at heart centre or fingertips can be down at the mat or you can reach the arms up overhead for a little extra challenge. Take another breath here and then frame the right foot, spin your way back into a low lunge, step it back to plank, maybe work through a chaturanga. Inhaling to up dog, exhaling to down dog. Inhale here, exhale. One more deep breath, inhale, exhale. On your next breath in, lift the left leg up to the sky, bend the knee, open the hip, start to take those big circles. Switch direction of the circles. And then inhale, reach the toes up to the sky, exhale, knee to nose inhale extend exhale knee to nose one more time inhale toes high exhale tap that knee and then step the foot through get nice and steady nice and stable then inhale sweep the arms up overhead settle into your high lunge take another deep breath in reach the fingertips even higher and then breathe out cactus the arms inhale fingertips up exhale left hand left hip slide over to the left hand side and then bring the right hand to the outer edge of the left knee maybe you reach the left hand to the back of the right leg had to think for a moment there 
and take a little bit of a back bend. Unravel on your next breath in, arms up and breathe out. Frame the foot, kick that leg all the way back to a three-legged dog and then flip that leg open, wild thing. Maybe you bring the left hand into a fist and take some circles on the wrist. And then bring left hand back to the mat, sweep left leg up to the sky and then step it to the outside of that left hand. Inhale, sweep left arm up to the sky. Exhale, spin around into revolve Skandasana. Inhale, lift the hips, extend the arm. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, lift. Exhale, cactus dip. One more time. Lift it up, cactus it down, and then spin into goddess, facing the right hand side of the mat. I'll give you a moment to meet me here. On your next breath in, straighten the legs, reach the arms up. Exhale, sink it down. Inhale, lift and straighten. Exhale, sink it down deep. Deep breath in, arms up, breathe out. Goddess, hands to the knees, dip the right shoulder in, come back through center. Left shoulder, centre, right, centre, left, centre. Inhale, straighten the legs, bring heels out, toes in. Exhale, descend into your fold. Feeling into it. Finding what feels good. and then turn left toes to point out at an angle, lunge onto that left knee, Skandasana. Taking the arm option that works for you, finding the strength, finding the stability. And then frame that left foot, spin yourself around into a low lunge, step it back to plank, work through a chaturanga, Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Take two deep breaths here. Reconnect to your breath. Reconnect to your body. As you're ready, wave it forwards into a high plank and then lower yourself all the way down onto the belly. Hands are in line with ribs. Inhale, lift your way up, exhale, soften back down, deep breath in, lift, deep breath out, lower, one more time, inhale, lift, exhale, lower, and see if you can stay just as lifted as you are, and then hover the hands off the mat, finding some strength in the spine here. So knowing that you're lifting yourself up through strength of the back rather than just muscling your way up with your hands. Option to stay here or to extend the arms out ahead and then cactus them in. Extend, cactus, reach, cactus. It's very hard to talk while doing this. I'll let you carry on extending and cactusing. Now another option to level up even further is to lift the feet to hover off the mat, engage the glutes, engage the entire spine. Hold for five, four, three, two, one, and bring one hand to stack on top of the other, rest the forehead down on the hands. In this position, Notice if you can feel the back body filling up with air as you breathe. So normally we can feel the bear, the bear, the breath filling up the belly. But while we're on our belly, you might notice the breath 
causing the back body to rise and fall. Unravel yourself, slide those hands back in line with the ribs, root down through the knees, send the hips back to the heels, child's pose, either with legs narrow, touching each other, or with knees as wide as the mat. Again, find some movement here, wiggling into the hips. On your next breath in, draw yourself back to an upright position, bring the knees together, slide yourself so you're roughly at the centre of the mat, inhale sweep the arms up, exhale bring right hand to the outside of the right knee, left hand out behind, I've said that totally wrong, left hand to the outside of right knee, right hand out behind, either on the mat or hooking round for the left hip. Inhale, reach the arms back up. Exhale, twist over to the other side. So it doesn't really matter if I totally confused you there, mixing up my rights and lefts. Just come onto the other side from what you did before. Inhaling to find a bit of length. Exhaling to find a bit of depth. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, reach them up. Exhale, bring them down by your sides. And you can stay here to finish off our practice in a seated position, or you can swing the legs out to one side, extend them out long, and then lower yourself down onto the mat for a few moments in Shavasana. Landing in whatever pose feels good for you. Knees to chest. Traditional Shavasana. Supta Bhadakanasana. Constructive rest. Lots and lots of options. Whether you're seated or down on your back, we'll take 10 deep breaths to finish off our practice. Whether you're seated or down on your back, I invite you to keep your eyes closed for these last few moments as we all meet in a comfortable seated position and finish our practice with a deep releasing breath in through the nose and then making some noise as we sigh it out through the mouth. <sighs> Let something go. Open the eyes if they are not already and I thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. I really hope you enjoyed that. If you did and you have not already subscribed to my channel then please do so. That means we can practice together again hopefully very soon. 
You can also leave any video requests in the comments or just anything you thought about this video. And of course, a big thumbs up to let me know I should make more like this one in the future. I hope you have a wonderful day.